Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions week 7 This Premier League season is going ever so quickly uh, It just seems when I upload one video, I'm uploading the next one So, But anyway guys, I want to get straight down to this video So guys, you know what to do, give yourself a big front button if you enjoy it Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go So the first game I'm going to try and predict is Man United versus Everton at Old Trafford, the lunchtime kickoff. Man United have really gone, I don't want to say downhill because that's not quite true. Bruno Fernandes missed penalty the past week. It really does like to look at something that, you know, maybe ain't quite there just yet for Man United this season. Home Maguire is out this weekend as well. Um, he's out for the next few months, I think. Few months, few weeks. Uh, I'm the guy Solskjaer said. On the Everton side, Everton maybe just look a bit more positive going forward. Because of Home Maguire's injury and because of what, you know, what seems not quite clicking at um, Old Trafford yet, or at Manchester United, I should say. I'm going to go for an Everton win, and I'm going to go for just a slightly 2-1 Everton win. My next one is Burnley versus Norwich. Burnley, Norwich, both teams in the relegation scrap at this present time. I think Burnley are 19th, Norwich are definitely the 20th, I know that for sure. Norwich really are struggling to get off the mark this season. Seven games this would be... And still no points on the board. Will they pick their first point up of the season this weekend? Burnley, on the other hand, yet again, look a bit struggly down the bottom. And uh, just basically, you know, give Sean Dyche a new, new contract. Was that the right idea by the ball? We'll have to wait and see to see what happens. It's going to be a really interesting game, though. I'm going to go for a very boring, very dull nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Southampton. Chelsea obviously fly top, um, not top, they're not top of the table, are they? Um, but flying well in the Premier League. Uh, they did win their Champions League game last night as I'm recording this. Uh, Chelsea do look like pretty much a real deal this season. Lost, losing to Man City last weekend just by a goal to nil. It's going to be a really, really interesting game for both of these sides. But I'll just think Chelsea will edge it, and I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. And on the other hand, Southampton uh, loses to Wolverhampton the week before. The next one is Leeds United versus Watford. Now, Leeds, yet again, I think they're in the bottom three. I think they're currently sitting in 18. Are they suffering from second season syndrome, as everyone calls it? Well, we're going to have to wait and see to see what happens at the game 38 36 stage and just see where they are in the table. But on the other side of that, Watford going up to Eden Road. Watford, I think they're just sitting outside the relegation zone, are looking to, uh, for points as well, same as all the Cubs. But will they get any at Eden Road? I don't think so. I think Leagues might just win this one by two goals to one. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Newcastle. Wolverhampton beating Southampton in the previous weekend. A big three points that was for Wolverhampton. And it's good to see Raul Jimenez back in the Wolves shirt after that bad head injury, you know, across the last season. And, you know, he, he was out for quite a while. Let's not forget that. Going up against the Newcastle side, that... Basically, you know, struggling for points. Steve Bruce has had the meat taken out of him uh, about the FIFA 22. I have seen that, and it is quite funny how Steve Bruce manages to sprint quicker than all the players. But, you know, that's FIFA 22 for you. Um, but, yeah, very interesting game. Very uh, teams going at the bottom of the table and looking for points. As as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Arsenal. Now, Brighton drawing to Palace, you know, the previous, well, not even the previous week because it was on Monday, the previous fixture. 
you know, Lin Wei played last minute goal. Now, as you all know, I'm a Brighton fan, and to me, that felt like a win. Even though it wasn't a win, it's just a point. But do I think Brighton deserve that point? If I'm being honest, no. But obviously, I'll take it being a fan, and obviously, how well we didn't play. Um, I really wasn't expecting Brighton to come out for the fight. But we really didn't. Uh, Palace pressured us well. And we were lucky enough to get the point. As I said, we take it and we move on to this fixture. Arsenal, on the other hand, having a comfortable 3-0 win over their nearest rivals, Tottenham Hotspur. I'm not sure if it's 3-0. I didn't know Arsenal got three goals, though. I think so, anyway. But, yeah, as I said, got three, uh, three goals um, and three points against the nearest rivals, Tottenham Hotspur. I did actually watch that game. Fair play to Arsenal for term, uh, turning up. But out with uh, Granite Jack after the next few months or few weeks, that can be a big um, change in the Arsenal squad. Because of that injury, I'm going to stick up for my own... Actually, no, I'm not going to go for another draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. And let's not forget about that bird that I know my pay a couple of seasons ago without no fans in the ground. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Leicester. Now, I just mentioned the Palace result. Can't remember how Leicester got on this weekend. But Palace, playing if you know I did against Brighton, they might have a sh shouting chance this weekend. They really might. And now Leicester, hard to sum up um, with the likes of, you know, how they're playing and, you know, fair play. Uh, obviously, I've got to keep on pushing. As far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a 2 1. What way do I put it? I'm going to go Leicester win. My next one is Tottenham Hotspur or Spurs versus Aston Villa. Spurs, as I said, lost to Arsenal. Looked very, very, you know, not at not at the races that game. Um, you know, really, really dodgy um, game for Spurs. I know, I know, pretty much all Spurs fans weren't happy about that. And uh, yeah, really didn't turn up on that day. Back at home this week, though, against Aston Villa. Aston Villa, to me, still pretty much looked like struggling without Jack Greenish. Um, will they turn it around? I think this is probably one of the best chances for Villa to go grab three points. I ain't going to go for grabbing the three points, though. I'm going to go for another draw, and I'm going to go for another one all scoreline for that one. My next one is a bit of a London derby. It's West Ham versus Brentford. West Ham... You know, doing okay without Jesse Lingard. And, you know, it's one of these things where they w really wanted Jesse Lingard on a permanent deal. Didn't manage to get through the line. But still playing very good football. Brentford, on the other hand, now I do have to go care careful when I predict the Brentford games. Because I have a written off uh, last week. I think they drew. Um, you know, Brentford really do, do look like a real deal this season. And... Um, I really do think I misjudged them right at the start of the season when I did my Premier prediction table. But anyway, I'll talk more about that back uh, in May when we finally get there. I'm going to go for a draw because I know how our Brentford can play. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. Now, my last one is probably the fixture of the weekend. Liverpool versus Manchester City. Manchester City loses to PSG in the Champions League. Uh, if, if for you that's watched it today, it'd be yesterday. If not, it's Tuesday. Liverpool did win their Champions League. Car. I think it's like something like six one. A really good performance by Liverpool. It's going to be a really interesting game though because you know back at Anfield, it's going, I reckon it's going to be a hostile atmosphere by the Anfield crowd, and I. Uh, Really do think that Liverpool might actually go pick up the three points. So that's what I'm going to go for. But I'm going to go for a 3-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.